Hi guys, uh, welcome to the board of studies questions for SCPM. We have already completed every possible question from the module. Now time for us to be doing board of studies. We are trying to get uh, closer to the exams with each and every video. In case you will require any help in this subject, uh, any clarification, two things. On our YouTube, you will be getting 30 most important questions answered. That video I had made. Apart from that, uh, still if you have some confusion, you can drop a comment over there or you all can contact us on AJ Next. Uh, that is our telegram ID. Okay, uh, telegram ID is at the rate AJNX. You all can contact us over there. In case you wish to be enrolling for a complete course, link is there in the description. The moment you will be enrolling, the lectures will automatically start. Let's do the question for today. The question for today is from chapter number one, introduction to SCM. And the question is, an argument is going on in board or uh, in the boardroom of Indorama Plastics that which model is best fit for industry analysis. See, every company operates in some industry. You got to be doing analysis of that. How profitable is the industry? But then with profit risk also comes. Chief strategic uh, deemed the five porters, five forces model because it is dash model wherein all the five forces dash determine the intensity of the industry competition and profitability. Okay. So two fill in the blanks have to be filled up over here. Okay. So Porter's five forces model should be adopted because it's a dash model wherein five forces dash determine the intensity of the competition. Okay. Please uh, bring me the five, sorry, the four options. Okay. Static and collectively. Okay. Static and discreetly. Okay. Uh, dynamic and collectively. And then dynamic and discreetly. Okay. See, your Michael Porter's five forces model basically says that profitability and competition in any industry depends upon these five factors. Tomorrow, if you're going to be doing a business of your own, there's a fantastic model basically to tell you that how much profits you have scope of getting. Apart from that, what is the competition that is there in that industry? So therefore, there were five things over here. First, threat of the new entrance. If new entrance can come very fast, automatically competition will be high. Prices that you will be able to charge to the customers will automatically start to be falling. Bargaining power of suppliers. Bargaining power of suppliers. Suppliers are those people who supply you the raw material. In case they can bargain with you very high, your cost will always be higher. Profits will always be lower. Then there is rivalry among the existing competitors. Obviously, more the rivalry will bring the prices down. Threat of the substitutes. If suppose your product will have a substitute, automatically prices will start to be falling. And bargaining power of buyers. You all will understand that. You're going to be selling to somebody. That guy is your buyer, okay, or your customer. If they have higher bargaining power, they'll bargain with you far more, automatically pushing the prices down. Now, do remember that this is Michael Porter's five forces model. It is very dynamic in nature. Dynamic means it constantly keeps on getting changed. Tomorrow, there are five competitors. Tomorrow, there might be, say, a uh, day after tomorrow, there might be six competitors. Automatically, this model will start to be showing the six competitors. Then, bargaining power of suppliers and buyers might change depending upon the competition, up and so on. Threat of the new entrants. Now, tomorrow, new entrants might be coming. Suppose your business is something like, say, telecom, something like, say, a uh, geo or airtel. Now, threat of new entrance is less because it is capital intensive business. Okay. But then tomorrow, if suppose somebody like say Adani comes now automatically the new entrance threat will start to be coming. No. So what I am trying to be saying is that all these things are dynamic in nature and collectively it will determine whether you will be able to get good amount of profit and what is the amount of competition that is there. These are not individual factors combination of all these particular factors will always tell you how profitability, sorry, how profitable an industry is and what is the level of competition that is there. Now, example, one other thing, say threat of uh, substitutes. Now, we are using, say, normal furniture. But when IKEA came, all the companies in India who are manufacturing the normal uh, wooden furniture, they get a competition, right? Because there is a substitute now. Although not as durable as a normal uh, plywood, but then the cost is far less. So all these forces will always determine collectively what is going to be the profitability and the competition. So I guess the two fill in the blanks which are there should be dynamic and collectively. So answer should be three over here. Yeah, that's the correct answer. Congratulations to all of you. I think what worked for me was the completion of syllabus way before my exams and that helped me to revise topics 
a lot more times than I usually should. So thanks a lot, Anil uh, sir, for the uh, concise materials and the wonderful teachings. Thank you. Just a reminder that all our MCQs from the module are available on the YouTube channel on the following playlist. You all can scan the QR code. It will take you over there. I'll see you all next time in another video. Till then, take care. Bye.